The daily grind of spring training can become monotonous, which is why Dodger manager Dave Roberts is constantly looking for something different. We mess around in the morning meetings a lot. Doc likes to have a good time, and he started kind of calling out Stripling and, and Brock because uh, they sing or can sing. <laughs> and um, you know, he turned around and said that I asked me if I play the guitar and instantly said Pollock's better, trying to push it off myself, but we both got thrown into it. Test, test. Everybody ready? Oh. Doc, you know, he brings up guys in the front of the team. It's kind of an icebreaker. People don't know you, and I haven't had that ever in the big leagues where it's, you know, it's entertainment every single morning. You come into the day, and you're excited to see what he's got next, and, you know, we were chosen. So how did all this come together? What was how did your winter playoff? It was kind of a roller coaster ride. You have a bunch of teams that are interested, and I'm not gonna lie, we were looking at the Dodgers the whole time and just thinking, you know, that's just a great fit. We love the team, we know them really well. There's a lot of familiar faces. I have no idea where we're going. It was kind of a crazy last couple of weeks. I don't know the details too much. I'm just here, so it's pretty exciting. It's so weird. It's so weird coming in this way. One of the most notable roster additions made by the Dodgers front office this offseason was the signing of A.J. Pollock, a 31-year-old outfielder who had spent the previous seven seasons with a division rival, Arizona Diamondbacks. Unfortunately, we've had a front row seat to watching A.J. kind of beat up on Dodger pitching the last few years. There aren't many hitters in the league that have. Pollock drives him on a left center field. Has he done it for a third time? He has. AJ's a guy that always seemed to get big hits for the Diamondbacks, and you know we just had kind of a long-standing appreciation for his game. So is this where you would walk in as a player? Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, so you come in just where you did. You go down the elevator, mm -hmm. come here. So you get to see this every single day. Every day. Nice. Some pretty cool history here. You know, your first day you kind of come in and it's, it's almost like going to a new school and you're the only new kid and everyone knows each other. A lot of guys that I've played against and some of them are kind of a surprise, a not like I thought they were going to be. Good to see you, man. You How's too. everything? Good. You Welcome, good? man. Yeah, Thanks. It's awesome. It's weird. <laughs> it's like, it's a good weird. Hey, Jay, what's up, man? Doc, how you doing? How you doing? Congratulations. Happy to be here, man. Appreciate it. Welcome to the Dodger family. It's awesome. Looks right. Looks Man, right. That's cool. Yeah. As we were kind of undergoing, you know, some of the changes we're doing in the hitting department, we felt like he was a guy that would, you know, come in and really contribute in a significant way in just the cage culture that we were creating. Appreciate you guys. That's awesome. That's cool. That's cool. Thank you. Congrats, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Very cool. I was trying to uh, tell AJ I want him to find a locker where he feels comfortable. JT. Kenley, right over here. Yeah. CT, where are you at? You're right over here, right? Where's yeah. Your at? Right over there. They got minor league guys in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I kind of like him by JT. Kind of um, over here or over here. Yes. If you like to be in the corner, AJ. Yeah, and usually we, we don't double it up until 49. Okay. I can take the corner. That's fine. Yeah. No worries. Let's I'll keep it open because a little bit selfishly, I don't want him in the corner. I want him influencing people. Okay. In the <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of respect for Doc, for him to come in and, and really kind of take me under his wing and show me the locker room, show me, you know, what he expects. And uh, it was a lot of fun. I just wanted you to kind of think about it. But yeah. You'll get your pick. And CT's okay. over there. That's a good one to be around, too. Yeah. I've heard. He's uh, as low maintenance as it gets. Yeah. JT, what's up, man? What's up, brother? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. My you wife, good at Blue. Thanks, man. It's my Hi, wife, Kate. Kate. Nice, to, nice meet you. to meet you. I can't ask for a better situation, honestly, stepping into this this culture and going you know, to do everything I can to help contribute and get back there and, and, then, and then win one. The way that Pollock can help contribute today is with a guitar. Good song. I took a walk around the world to ease my 
The way we came up with the song was basically we we wanted to do like late 90s, early 2000s, kind of like grunge or alternative rock, whatever you want to call it. And basically, I think we just Googled like, you know, top songs, late 90s, early 2000s. We were listening to just a bunch of songs and then we, we finally hit that one and just said that that one's a winner. I watch the world flow to the dark side of the moon. I can't wait to watch Bellinger get platooned. <laughs> I don't mind what happens now and then. As long as I don't spend the whole year in the pen. If I throw seven, shuddy, will I get sent to AAA? How much time is left until my job's taken by Dustin May? I wrote the lyrics. Uh, essentially what I did was I just pulled up a 40-man roster and I just started making like little notes next to people's names about like things I can make fun of and uh, I've since shredded that piece of paper. It does not exist anymore. They've called him strong, they've called him weak, but Barnes's height sure has peaked. In a place to K until it's time to go down. Fergie stumbled in and got some wins. CT and Joe Flacco look like twins. Who knows more English? Kenta or Hunjay? <laughs> I was kind of worried we were going to take it too seriously. We didn't just want to go out there and, and sing the song. We wanted to have the full outfit. We wanted to have the lyrics. We did a couple of rehearsals and stuff, me and Freezer and Strip, Brock. And we had a good time with it. I'll do that once a week if we could, especially with Pollock. You know, he's new. He's played the guitar for about 15 years and, you know, definitely calmed me down. Muncie crushes frosted flakes. I'll keep KK by my side until he beans up, then dynamite. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Have a great day.